this video tutorial I will cover using at required annotation how to do spring dependency checking. Using at required annotation, we can make sure the particular property of uh, spring bean is set. If it is not set, we will get the exception. Here I have defined the class uh, employee. It has uh, three properties ID, name, and address. Address is the dependent object. And uh, getter and setter methods for uh, these three properties. Here I have overridden uh, two string method. Here I have applied uh, at record annotation for uh, set address method. So if uh, address object is uh, not set in employee object, we will get uh, exception. In this way, we can make sure address object is uh, set in employee object before we use uh, employee object in our application. To make uh, at record annotation to work, we have to include uh, this line in the spring configuration file. This will enable record annotation bean post processor. In the spring configuration file, address object is not set to employee object. So if we run this program, we will get the exception because at record annotation is enabled in address. Here we have commanded. Here I have defined the class app. Here I have created application context object by reading spring configuration file. Using getBean method of application context object, getting employee object from spring container and displaying the employee object. In spring configuration file, we did not set address object to employee object. But uh, at record annotation we have enabled in address of uh, employee object. So we will get exception if we run this program. Suppose uh, address object is uh, set properly in uh, employee object, then we won't get uh, this exception. Here 